Yo guys, what is up? Cambos here today. Gonna be talking to you about why Aquaman, yes, Aquaman, is actually a really great superhero. Now, I know this seems funny. He's like, oh, he only talks to fish. <laughs> yeah, but actually, he does a lot more than that. Like, for one, he's king of the sea. Like, king of, like, all the water on Earth. Which is, and Earth is covered by, like, more than 75% water. Which means that he could basically controls most of the Earth. And then, like, that's just crazy. That's, like, OP for one. Two, he has, like, superhuman speed and reflexes, but, like, mainly when he's swimming. So, like, he can swim faster than Superman can fly, and he can, like, keep up with the Flash if the Flash wasn't, like, going max speed uh, when the Flash is running on water. So, like, that's just, like, cool, cool on his own. And he doesn't just talk to fish. Aquaman also, um, he, like, he doesn't talk to them at all, actually. He, he c communicates with them telep t telepathically. Sorry about that. Um, and, like, he also can influence non-aquatic life in really subtle ways. Uh, so, like, he can, like, uh, communicate with humans telepathically and, like, influence them, but not, like, tell them what to do. Sort of, like, powers of suggestion. And, like, also, he's actually, like, really strong. Like, he has superhuman strength. Like, he can lift up, like, buildings with ease. Uh, also, I mean, his wife is a superhero, which is actually pretty, pretty dope. Uh, and he can travel through time, well, he, not that he can, but he, like, he has, or, like, he does travel through, like, time and space. Like, like, Aquaman, you think he's, like, limited to water, but, like, even if you've seen Justice League Unlimited, that guy goes all around the freaking world and space and shit, and he's crazy, he's cool, he's cool. I'm telling you guys. And, like, he he's also like half human half uh atlantean so he he like has the sort of dilemma where it's like i've lived in this world for so long but i want to start a connection with another world and like it's crazy because like the 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 wetlands as they call it and the dry lands uh they like are really separate and there's like in rebirth or at least in the beginning of rebirth i haven't read that far as aquaman rebirth but uh he's like there's like a war brewing between the wetland and the dry land and it's crazy like aquaman <laughs> he like deals with like like real like dilemmas because like he wants to be a diplomat and like he wants to like um he wants to like show the drylanders that the wetlands the, the atlanteans they're actually good people and they just want to like start like uh diplomatic relationship but like people are like nah we don't want to we don't want to be talking to fish lamo but then also aquaman can control armies of fish not just like two or three fish but like armies of fish and on top of that aquaman has his own army he has his own army of just like 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 super powered atlantean guys that are just like op and um like, he plays with deadly animals, like, for fun. Like, he just plays with them, like, sharks and swordfish and crap like that. Plus, I mean, the man founded the Justice League. He founded the Justice League. And if you're looking at one of the, like, um, like, the Justice League Unlimited type Aquaman, you know, like, the one where he had his arm cut off, like, that guy is a straight-up badass. And I actually think that that's, that he is going to be, like, the type of Aquaman that Jason Momoa was gonna be. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they cut off Jason Momoa's arm, and then they gave him that little uh, spear, uh, in Justice League, because that's just, like, that's just, like, Aquaman, you know? Uh, but he, Aquaman is also, like, I think, I'm pretty sure he punched death at one point. I'm not very clear on that. But he punched death, I'm pretty sure. And that's pretty that's pretty dope because like that's like that's like um the flash like completely beating the black flash. Like that's basically like the equivalent of that. Only like for Aquaman it seems even more impressive because no one really likes Aquaman. But um yeah, that's just really quick. But Aquaman is actually really dope. Like like his his wife is a superhero and if your wife is a superhero she's not gonna be t tolerating any like freaking mediocre guy she's gonna want someone that's on that level you know like aquaman i'm telling you guys just read like a couple of comics so you can see aquaman is actually a really great superhero 
So uh, thanks for watching. That's a really quick video on why Aquaman is great. I try to dish that out as fast as possible so you guys wouldn't fall asleep. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys share this with your friends. Show them that Aquaman isn't a wimp. And uh, peace out. See you guys later.